welcome back. Um, we're almost complete with the cockpit now. Uh, we have the hard geometry created. Um, I've just put in a section there. It's a straightforward spline uh, with uh, a box and thinned out. Likewise with that up there. So the hard geometry for this is more or less completed. Now we don't really have to worry about modeling around the front or around this section here because well we create the illusion of that existing when we start applying UVW maps and bump maps okay so what we now need to do is um, start attaching some of these uh, pieces of geometry to each other um, first of all I want to select that part and we'll pop into our modify panel and pop down to attach I do want to attach that piece there let's quickly zoom around now I create another piece there it is thinner and it comes in line um, with the fuselage so nothing complex straightforward now we've got we're calling that line 13 right what I now want to do is deselect that if we go H select canopy hood say OK and now if I pop down to attach and then select line 13 that is now attached so if we go into our select and rotate tool if I rotate this now all of that hood should move so let's press undo on that and that snaps back into position and whilst we're at it what I think we'll do is um, just select that for a moment I'm going to go um, select and link now we can't attach this to the fuselage it has to be linked so we'll select that there and we're going to drag it over here so that we know we are just on the fuselage and yep it's been selected so when the fuselage moves the cockpit goes with it let's press Q to come out of that link there um, I think what I need to do is just uh, select the fuselage and I want to attach some pieces now um, go attach gotta make sure that we don't attach that uh, but I do need this piece attaching there Let's come around here, let's have a look. We can attach that piece there. Okay, I'm just looking around now in the cockpit area just to see if there's nothing that should be attached, isn't attached. Nope, that looks to be the lot. So as we know the glass is linked to the fuselage and the cockpit is linked to the fuselage but this glass here is linked to the cockpit yes the screen froze again but not at a crucial point I've more or less finished there anyway but what I do need to do is just make sure that everything does move with the um, the cockpit so we have that selected W for our select and move tool let me just make sure um, if you want to make the gizmo bigger just press the plus sign there we go you want to make it smaller press the minus 
Oh, the plus sign a little bit bigger just a little tip there for you right let's have a look and see if everything moves well everything moves it should move although I think I've got an errant spline in there line 11 yeah you know I did think I had one but not to worry so everything moves lovely let's press undo and undo again okay let's now deselect that pop up to our layers manager and I'm just gonna freeze um, the fuselage and the cockpit area okay um, we don't need any of the helpers the point helpers in there or these sections around here so the simple case let's go for our select drag all that seems to be just the helpers etc good now let's press delete and that should have also got rid of that errant um, spline in there okay we're in our left view and now I think what we're going to do is um, create this section here uh, I just want to zoom in a little bit more here because we're going to create a spline for this one I think um, so we'll go line it has that classic aerofoil shape to it so very much like our wing along here now it comes down here but at the back it is squared out so I'm just pressing shift here let's shift again to come down still with shift pressed down there let's bring that to about there and then up to there and we'll close the spline and say yes um, I'll leave that one as it is. We'll quit, press Q to quit the line. But for the spline, we need to convert it to an editable spline again. Come on. Thank you. Editable spline, into line, down to vertices. I'll just pop up there. I like the square one. Sorry, but I do. So get the square one. We're going to convert those to smooth. And this one, we'll convert that to a bezier corner. Now we can just W for our select to move. Let's make that a little bit smaller now. I only really did that as an example. Pop in here bit closer there we go just round that out same with this here let's try and give it a darker color say okay let's bring that one W over to there okay let's come up to line what I'm going to do now is rotate it 90 degrees so E for our rotate tool make sure angle snaps on and let's rotate it 90 if we can't see it in here don't forget look down there okay let's um, say extrude amount let's pull back a little bit so we can get this amount correct W for our select and move tool. Now I'm going to take this down into there. We know it's not in the right position at the moment, but I'm going to take it down and then bring it up to about there. Okay. Now let's convert that to an editable poly there we 
go into vertices let's select those um, I want our R2 for scale I'm going to drag it in the middle here and scale it right down as we can see there now it does have to be straight so W for our select to move and let's just straighten that up there if we pop back now let's have a look Yep, up to root. Let's just move that into position there. Okay, into perspective mode. Zoom around. Let's have a look. Let's take it over to the center section. I'm going to hide our reference material now. So under that, thank you. Reference material. Hide that say OK zoom in a little bit there let's get that into the center just there rotate around a little bit now to my mind that needs to come out here just about there OK now the base may probably need to be a little bit wider so let's go up vertices select those there scale tool pop round let's just make that base a little bit wider there we are now let's deselect that for a moment come up to uh, root deselect let's just have a quick look at it yep that looks fine let's select it again into edge in fact we'll go border this time we're still in perspective mode zoom in there has it got a cap on it I think it has it was already capped lovely but we do have that shape there that we wanted because this would have been spot welded down here okay I think we've just over a minute left so up to root zoom out I want to pop over to this section now unfreeze uh, the fuselage into polygon W for our select to move tool. Now I want to rotate around here. Press control, ignore back facing. Let's select that one, that one, that one. Rotate, come down, and I want to extrude. Find for that we're going to go vertices select those vertices there bring them here a little bit select both those all those there let's just bring them up okay up to the root let's zoom back out there we go that's selected so what I want to do now is just pop down to attach and say let's attach that there deselect right mindful of the time uh, we'll call that it for this session and I'll catch you later mm -hmm.